A national convention about sex offenders is coming to Albuquerque. Their goal, lighter punishment for sex crimes. But opponents, including the governor, say we need the opposite. News 13's Katie Kim is in the news place. Dean advocates call it a civil rights issue. They say convicted sex offenders who've already done their time are still being punished years later. Lloyd Swartz is a husband, father, and small business owner in Albuquerque. But 43 year old Swartz has a secret, a secret that's haunted him for 25 years. My family is a registered family for something that happened when I was 17 years old in Texas. In 1987, Swartz was convicted of sexual assault. He spent 10 years on probation. But search his name on New Mexico's sex offender registry, and there's his profile. By law, he's required to stay registered for another 13 years, nearly 40 years after what he calls his youthful mistake. It is immoral to create laws that punish people in perpetuality, even though they've served out their sentence. Swartz leads a group charged with reforming the state's sex offender laws. Next month, like minded advocates from all over the country will come to Albuquerque to try to do just that. For example, they think only law enforcement should be able to view the online sex offender registry. They're also pushing to remove names of offenders once they complete their probation. It's a violation of human rights to continue to humiliate tear down and destroy families forever. Governor Susana Martinez, a former prosecutor, calls the proposals outrageous. Martinez wants laws to become even stricter. Parents also say they deserve to know who is living next door. I should be able to make a conscious decision of where I'm allowing my children to play and who I'm letting them play around, even if it was 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago. The legislature has tried to pass laws that reform the state sex offender laws, but they either never made it out of committee or were vetoed by the governor. Back to you. All right, Katie, Katie thank you very much. That conference will be held the second weekend in September at the Ramada near I-40 in Eubank. Organizers expect more than 100 people from all around the country. It looks like Governor Martinez is staying true.